Welcome to another follow along sculpting session. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover the nose. We're not going to go and add the nose to a cube because that's kind of weird. I want to add it to a full on head, let's say, because that's sort of how it, when you want to add a nose. So why don't we add it to a, an actual head? What I like to be, do to begin with um, my sculpt is I like to begin with a sphere. So we're going to press shift A and we're going to use a UV sphere. We're going to add that to the scene and that's all we need. And which means we can go to scope mode. So we're going to go up here to the scope mode. We can go here to the side and we can first of all enable symmetry. So we're going to go down here and enable symmetry. There you go. We need to remesh this. So what we're going to do is we're going to press control R so that we have um, a remeshed sphere. Why is that important? Because we're going to use dynamic topology or also called Dyn Topo. And if you don't remesh the sphere, you can have some weird uh, warning errors. So we're going to enable dynamic topology now. And the settings that we're going to use is we're going to use 20 resolution. We're going to use the refine method subdivide collapse. And we're going to use the detailing method constant detail or the detailing constant detail. Because with constant detail, you can basically define a constant resolution, which I think is more intuitive to work with. Let's create the head shape. What we need to use is we need to use the snake hook brush. We're going to select it and we're going to make the brush basically as big as the sphere. We're going to look at the sphere from the front. We're not going to go with the cursor right into the middle of the sculpt or the, the sphere. We're going to go a little bit further outwards. We're going to snake the middle of the cur uh, middle of the sphere and we're going to drag it down just straight down like this to create the chin basically for the head like this. There you go. So we have the beginning. Let's now rotate the sculpt to the side to, to 45 degrees. It doesn't have to be exactly 45 degrees, just somewhere in between, I guess, 90 and zero. And then we're going to, I guess, latch or select this edge that we've just created again. And we're going to select it and we're going to move it. We're going to drag it back to somewhat over here. So now we can see we already have the jaw right here. It looks kind of funky right now. It's quite wide. So what we want to do is we're going to make the snake hook brush even bigger. And we're just going to move everything a little bit further into the middle. We're going to make it thinner. What we want to make sure is that the upper part of the head, so the round part up here, is wider than the jaw right here. So we're just going to push the jaw a little bit more into the middle. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. There's one more thing that I want to do to finish this head shape. What we need is we need to use the grab brush. So we're going to switch from the snake hook brush to the grab brush. We're going to go to the um, to the temple, you could say, to the side of the head. And then we're going to go here to the side and we're going to push it into the middle just a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit so that the side of the head, if you go, if you look at look at it from the top where the widest part of the head is here in the back and it gets thinner as it goes forward. And then we have the head shape. The um, the chin right here is quite far forward right now. I want to pull it back just a little bit so that it's somewhat in line with the rest of the head right now. Perfect. So now uh, we have the uh, the beginning of the head. There's one thing if you want to do that um, to refine the head shape a little bit more, you can push go to the side here, push it a little bit more into the middle if you want to. It's not too necessary, but it can be somewhat helpful. There you go. And then we already have the head shape. We're going to switch from the grab brush again to the snake hook brush and then we're going to go to the side and we're going to go to roughly one third, maybe a little bit higher than that of the entire head. So I'm going to go to over here in the middle of the scope and I'm just going to pull it forward like this. Not too much, just like that maybe. There you go. What I want to do now is I want to remove this curve. I want to make this straight from here to here. I'm going to make a straight line. So I'm going to pull this forward too, so we can create the straight line. So we can see what we've done now is basically we've added the nose as well as the mouth. So now that we have the, the shape right here, what we want to do is we want to switch to the crease brush of this one right there. And we want to sort of create two lines. The two lines we want to create is a vertical line, not in the middle here, but somewhat on the side here. So we want to leave some room here in the middle. We're just going to create some lines that go from up top here, down like this, make them quite deep like this. Okay, there you go. And then we want to add one more horizontal line, which is down here. We're just going to create it like this. So we have this block shape like this. So now that we have the, the sort of um, shape right here, there's uh, one thing that we need to add or we need to remove, which is the side part here. 
we're just going to add apply the crease brush again like this to just kind of smooth it out like this there you go okay if you want to to make everything a little bit smoother what you can do is you can hold shift and then apply the brush which basically uses the smooth brush so if you hold shift and then you apply it you can make everything nice and smooth let's go to the actual nose shape you can see we already have the cube for it it's fairly simple if you look at a nose it's basically just a t-shape but i guess the other way around what we want to do is we want to use the crease brush again we should still have it selected and then we go here to the side we create a u-shape here the u-shape is not following this edge right here the u-shape is starting somewhere over here inside of this triangle that you can see here or this sort of you know transition i guess i don't know what you want to call this in this space here and then we go horizontal to the side like this okay there you go then we want to end the u shape by going around like this we do this to create the nose shape there you go we can also increase the strength if you want to make it a little bit easier to do this there you go so we have the no shape. What we want to do is we want to actually continue this U shape to the middle of the nose. We're just going to go from here into the middle like this. Okay, so we have this sort of, you know, this sort of bar there, if you want to call it that. Um, one important part of the nose is the edge. If you smile, you can see it. It goes from the nose here to the lips. We want to add that too, because that is a important part of the nose's shape too. We're going to go back to this U shape. And we're just going to draw a line down like this. Okay. And then because we can see this deep crease here, we want to remove this volume here too. So we're going to switch from the crease brush to the clay strips brush. And then while holding, while using the clay strips brush, hold control so that you can remove volume. So we're going to remove the volume like this, hold control and just remove this part here. Okay. So the, that it's nice and smooth like this. What we want to do now is we want to basically follow this crease here and remove some volume here too. We're just going to hold control again and we're going to remove, we're going to even this basically. We're going to lower this part here to the crease so that the crease, I guess, vanishes, you could say. Something like this. There you go. Okay. If you want to, you can smooth this again. Just hold shift. And then tap it, for example, you can very simply apply the smooth brush like this. So now we have a pretty good, I guess, beginning for the nose. Let's um, let's finish it. What I want to do is I want to sort of just get rid of some of this volume. So I'm just going to use the um, clay strips brush again, holding control. Just kind of get rid of this. There you go. Maybe even smooth it if you want. Let's go to the lower part of the nose. The lower part of the nose is basically like a heart shape. We're going to use the crease brush again. And then we're just going to create two holes. The two nose holes are basically, they're basically diagonal ovals. We're going to create them right here. We're just going to create two holes into the shape that look somewhat like this. There you go. So now we have the nose holes. Let's go to the nose tip. The nose tip is quite round right now. Some people have a quite round nose tip. Some people have a more pointy tip. Let's make it a little bit more pointy. So we're going to use the clay strips brush again. And what we want to do is we want to create a um, volume that goes from here, from the bottom of the nose tip right here and diagonal over to this part here. So to do that, we're going to make it a little bit bigger and then we're going to just add a little bit more volume here at the tip like this. There you go. So that we add some more volume there. Perfect. Even it with the bridge here. We need to do a few more adjustments to finish it. But we already have basically all the um, basics that we need for a nose. You know, if you want to make like a more female nose, you would make the bridge maybe a little bit rounder. You probably change the nose a little bit more too. We don't want to do that here necessarily. If you want to, we can maybe go to the grab brush here and then just kind of adjust the proportions a little bit, maybe move the nostril a little bit further forward maybe even move the tip a little bit further in maybe for the bridge we can move it a little bit further back so the shape that we want to go for for the nose if we look at it from the bottom looks something like this so we have these two bumps here on the side then it sort of 
curves inwards and then we have the tip and then it curves inwards again and then we have the bump on the other side. That's what we want to go for. Right now it looks more like this, you know. So we want to push the these sides here a little bit further in to the middle. So we're going to go here to the grab brush again and push this part a little bit more into the middle. Like this. There you go. And that's basically it. That's the nose. We can do some more refinement. Uh, we can do we can refine it a little bit more. What I want to do here, for example, for the bottom of the nose, I want to switch back to the crease brush and I want to just add a horizontal line going back like this. Another thing that I want to do is I want to continue this nostril a little bit, just a little bit by holding control so I can add a little bit more volume. And I want to kind of create like a small corner right here at the bottom just by adding it back a little bit and then maybe even using the crease brush again like this so we can finish the nose like this to refine the nose what we want to do is we want to go to the dynamic topology settings and switch the resolution from 20 to 50. now what we want to use is the simplify brush so if you scroll down here we find the simplify brush underneath the cloth brush, cloth brush select the simplify brush and then all we want to do is sort of brush over everything that is part of the nose. We don't really see the changes just yet, but we, we can see them afterwards. So we just want to, you know, brush over everything with our cursor to um, affect everything around the nose and part of the nose, even here in the middle, in the nose hole. Now what we want to do is we're going to switch back to the crease brush and then we're going to make the cursor bite quite big. And all we want to do now is we want to hold shift and just tab the smooth brush. And as you can see, we get more resolution. So now that we have more resolution, we can, you know, you use the smooth brush a little bit more to refine the edges here, for example. The first thing that I want to do is I want to sharpen the nostril fold here. We don't hold everything, anything. We just apply the crease brush to create this nice crease right here. There you go. Okay, that's the first part. Let's go to um, down here. We're going to crease this again or two. There you go. Smooth it. One thing that you can do to um, refine the shape a little bit, there's oftentimes like a small triangle right here. You can get that triangle by just smoothing it a little bit like this. There you go. Oftentimes people have that sort of triangle right there. Um, it's kind of hard to, it's fairly easy to see once you recognize it, but before that it's kind of hard to see it. We can also smooth the nose tip a little bit. There you go. Same with the side here. And then if you want to, you can also refine the nose bridge a little bit. What you could do is you could go from the middle here, basically behind the nose tip and just add like a small crease here. Make it fairly sharp like this. And then you can smooth it again. You can then also use the crease brush while holding control to refine the nose bridge a little bit. Not, not Make it not too strong, just a little bit like this. And then maybe even smooth it again, just to kind of add like a small bit more refinement i guess <laughs> oftentimes you can see like a somewhat clear line going from the nostril here up to the eyes so we're going to draw the we're going to draw a line from here to here just upwards and we're going to even all this here out so i'm going to use the clay strips brush up here and just make this nice and even and once everything is nice and even we can use the smooth brush again to make everything nice and smooth there you go. Perfect. Look at that. And that's the nose.